Folks, thanks and welcome again to our YouTube channel. Mock Speed Hobbies has got another one in the door today. We've got the Arma Felony 6S um, released right at the same time as the, uh, the new Infraction V2. And this shares pretty much all of the same features, uh, but we're going to go through the whole thing in case this is the, the vehicle that you're looking for uh, rather than the truck. So let's get straight into the unboxing. These are really new uh, and exciting vehicles. So here we go. Okay, so Arma has really captured the whole essence of what a muscle car resto mod should be. Um, every part of this car from every angle just screams performance and just downright meanness, um, which we like. Uh, it's a very cool looking car. It looks to, to mean business, and we know it does. 80 miles an hour out of the box on the stock setup is absolutely amazing everybody's just raving about the performance and the speed of these cars um, no doubt these are going to be seen on the drag racing strips um, we know that these are actually equipped with a uh, wider rear tire which is cool um, 6s setup run two three three cells or you can run one big six cell if you're not concerned about weight balance um, again just like the uh, infraction v2s you got spectrum technology the smart technology built right into the uh, receiver and the speed controls with the new firma speed control the um, automatic vehicle control which is or active vehicle control i should say uh, is built right into the receiver so we know these are the nicer 80 dollars receivers uh, the smart receivers that spectrum makes which is a huge upgrade along with the ESC compared to the previous versions of this particular chassis platform. Um, <clears throat> of course, the big talk about these two is the uh, custom customization that you can do to the hood. So you've got, you know, different components that you can, uh, you know, you can do the stacks, you can do the blower, uh, you can do you know, exposed twin turbo look on, and even with the front intercooler on this vehicle too. So however you like to quote unquote power your vehicle, it allows you to add those scale effects to the car. Now the car is coming in two colors. Uh, the infraction has two colors. This one has two. You have the uh, flat matte black and then you also have this really cool orange. Now if you look at the orange, the orange has ghost graphics throughout it that really set off in the light it's really cool if you want something a little bit different a little bit brighter easier to see um, just two totally different looks on the on the vehicle same body uh, same customization uh, you'll notice that you want to open it up you'll have the option of running with or without a wing too back here so if you like to look without a wing and just like the uh, the uh, duck bill you can go with just that um, so that's pretty cool too not to mention the size of this vehicle, 17 scale. They're big cars, big impressive cars. Right, the car comes in the typical cradle, zip tied down, covered in uh, shrink plastic for protecting the body. Your radio system comes right here in the box, so let's uh, let's get into that. All right, so the uh, controller is something to note, something I didn't go over on the uh, infraction trucks. They're, they're all coming with this new DX3, uh, improved ergonomics. It's a three-channel radio. It has smart capability to show you what the battery level is on your vehicle. It's got um, a throttle limit on there for 50, 75, or 100% throttle. Uh, you also have an adjustment for the SAVC steering rate and your brake rate. So you can actually adjust your braking rate on the fly. Now this vehicle does not have the handbrake like the infraction truck. Um, that was the, the major difference that I saw in it is, is that you don't have that. Um, it's got more traction on the rear end, uh, bigger tires. I think this is going to be more of a speed run vehicle, although I've seen many videos of these things running. they got more than enough power to brake traction and drift all you want. But that is one thing that you won't see, is it does not have the handbrake uh, capabilities of the infraction. Other than that, you're pretty much looking at the same platform. We'll go over that soon. Okay, so out of the box, we're talking about a big car here. 
Um, the body looks awesome. Like I said, you know, it's very muscular. It's got just this awesome aggressive stance. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is how big it is. Um, I'm hoping maybe with the measuring tape next to it, you can see that this thing is coming up on nearly 29 inches long, about 28 and a half, 28 and three quarter inches long. Um, the full length of the body, including the front air splitter in the front. Um, the aerodynamics comes with the big spoiler for high downforce and best handling. Um, you'll notice that there's a couple things on the rear that I want to point out that does have a rear vent cut out here uh, to let some of the, the excess heat come out of the, uh, the cabin area. But the arrow on the rear, the aerodynamics is pretty cool on this car. Uh, it does have the uh, the pan, uh, which acts as basically an, an, a spoiler underneath. This acts as a vacuum of sorts. This upturn and these strakes here help streamline the air and actually direct air upwards as this car is moving at high speed. So in effect, this is like a uh, spoiler on the underside of the vehicle. The air moving just as it would on a wing that was inverted, moves faster and upward, causing a suction effect down to the ground. You also have arrow in the body as well. You've got more areas for air to come out uh, to vent the body so you know your batteries and your speed control stay cool. And then right from the tires, any air that passes through here comes up this part of the body as well and gets directed upward. So it's all just sucking that rear end down to the ground to help with downforce and handling at high speeds. The other cool thing that everybody's talking about is these massive wide rear tires. These are wider and have a more of a dish to the rear than the front. Typically the other versions on this platform like your Limitless and your out or excuse me your infraction trucks the front's the exact same wheel as the back on these you've got that huge muscle car look and huge traction for doing really straight nice pulls for drag racing and um, your speed runs but this car has plenty of power to break those loose you've got plenty of drifting power um, I would like to note that you obviously with two screws here, you can take this off for your high speed runs and then your body does have the, uh, a built in, um, uh, <clears throat> duck bill kind of spoiler back there. So you still get down for us. And of course you've got the underneath, uh, body work to, to help with that as well. But if you want to reduce the down force and drag and get a cleaner profile for a speed run, you can just take that one off. Of course, on the body clips, you've got the uh, their typical little uh, bungee there that holds the, the clips. It keeps you from losing them, but once you take them off, it's real easy to grab that little piece right there and pull the body right off of it. Set it over here. Now, just like the infraction, you've got the new Firma motor and the new Firma ESC. The Firma ESC, obviously a smart speed control, and your radio in this box here, one of the ABC smart receivers as well, capable of delivering telemetry. Um, this is also set up, like many of the Arma vehicles, to run smart batteries. It's also capable of running either 2, 3S, or 1, 6S. I typically recommend if you're not concerned about perfect weight balance uh, to just one one six cell. I found that it's uh, the best way to do things. Um, now on this one, they're still using the uh, the same servo that they always have, the 15 kilogram Arma Metal Gear servo. The uh, the front air dam is a little bit different than the infraction. It's built to incorporate this, this new fascia uh, where you've got turbo inlets and a place to put an inter intercooler, the scale intercooler, I must say. The drivetrain, like the uh, infraction, has the two ball bearing riders here on the rear drivetrain. 
uh, to stabilize it at high speed and high braking. And then of course, again, back to the rear tires, a lot wider rear tires than the front. So you've got that really aggressive muscle car look. Uh, I will note that you know the motor and the speed controller are both fan cooled. The the motors on the uh, previous versions on this platform didn't have any uh, any uh, kind of a heat sink or, or fan on the motor, which is a huge improvement as well. Keep that nice and cool for you. That's basically you know the same thing as the infraction or the limit list, other than the new electronics and everything. Um, this one, uh, like I said, does not have the handbrake. This is not a handbrake vehicle uh, like the Infraction. So guys, we've, we've got these both in stock in both colors. This muscle car is absolutely sure to make anyone happy that likes to drift, that likes to go fast. This is definitely the new bad boy on the block. Um, we really like everything we've seen from these new Armas. Um, I've never been disappointed out of an Arma vehicle. Uh, this is going to be another one that you're just going to have to be a must-have in your garage. And one that you'll enjoy driving. And guys, signing off again, we, we love making these videos for you. Uh, so we really need your subscriptions and your likes on these videos. So. If you enjoy the content we're bringing to you, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you again soon with the next video.